POV welcomes fair hearing opportunity for Kano. Good day, my people. Welcome once again to the news channel, and this is the headlines for today. As the IPOB has welcomed a fair hearing opportunity for the their leader, Namdi Kano. This is Afri's Concept TV, where you get the latest and the latest news. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure to do that now. Listen to the news in full. The president of the customary government of the indigenous people of Biafra, Emeka, Emeka Ziri, weekend commended the federal government for the opportunity for fair hearing given to the arrested IPOB leader, Namdi Kanu. MAK ZV spoke at a virtual conference with the team. The arrest of Unambi Kanu what next for the Biafra struggle. He said if the federal government wanted to kill him, Kanu, they had enough time to do so. Let the course of law prevail in his case. He said Kanu was not arrested for the Biafra struggle but for other alleged crimes. He noted that the Nigerian and international laws do not criminalize agitation for self-determination, but for but only criminal acts such as terrorism, treasonable felony, unlawful possession of firearms, and managing an unlawful society, which Kano was charged for before he jumped bail. Citing CAP 10 laws of the Federation of Nigeria 1990 and CAPA 9, Article 20 of laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, Ime we said, Self-determination is guaranteed under Nigerian laws. He said when an organization begins to commit an unlawful action, it becomes unlawful in the eyes of the law. In his submission, Dr. Nwako Nwaizewe of the African Oriental Studies in the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, said Kano's rhetoric and attitude did not paint him as ardent revolutionist. Also yesterday, head of membership and mobilization of IPOB in Australia, Kennedy Ochi, in a statement, asked members to boycott traveling with Kenya Airways for patronizing Kenya products. In spite of the denial by the Kenyan government, IPOB and Kanukan came that he was rearrested and extradited from Kenya. Our leader was arrested, repatriated back to a country he does not possess its passport. It's our wish to notify the public that President Keyatu Uhuru of Kenya has a question to answer on the role he played in the abduction of Mazi in Africa. He betrayed our leader and must be held fully accountable for his atrocities. This is pure man's inhumanity to man, and he will tell all by our friends how much he was paid to partake in this devilish act. We, IPOB in Australia, support the leadership of IPOB worldwide and our able directorate of state. Chika Edozim and the head of our media and publicity. In a powerful categorically states that all IPOB members both home and abroad should boycott traveling with Kenya Airline, stop patronizing any products made in Kenya, and all businesses dealing with Kenyans following their country's betrayal, the battle line is drawn is drawn. Our question to the Nigerian government is Will the abduction of our leader stop the continuous marginalization of Southeasterners from the current political structure in Nigeria? And this is the question they had to ask. And people, yes, this is the news for today. As the IPOB has come out to drag the Kenyan government, saying that they were the ones that made it possible for the Nigerian government to abduct the IPOB leader on Namdi Kano. That's the news. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video and subscribe to this channel to get more news from this channel. 